and you have to calculate it too, because there's this, <coughs> all these manuals you have to come later. So this is where knowing your technique helps. <laughs> okay, and then we have an arm bag. All the radiography. Whew. It's so simple. Uh, you would do a shoulder. Just look at the shoulder. Uh, side view, press that, and then it just automatically goes to the different selections. So, yeah, and then this different front side. Oh, it's a kid. She's a kid. The chance is just KB and me. Oh, the big, 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 scary guy. Just. <laughs> <laughs> So here's the exposure. It has two lips. Well, um, blunt and exposed switch for some good reason. Um, the exposed switch here, you pre press it down half down, it's a prep, so it's got the water. And when the exposure, you press it all the way down. Same concept here. Um, it's prep down, then press that over to the exposure. And then we have our KV and the time selections. This is the ones that's digital, touchscreen. This is what I use in the county jail. Where KB, MA, math, and second. MA and seconds uh, give the product of math. So this is what we're looking at. What we think our technique. <coughs> KB and math. And then we have for different uh, body size, K, large, large, and yeah. In gel, it's always large. <laughs> There's no care. Just large. Even, even the female for large. <laughs> the female is scary too. <laughs> Actually, the female is more scary than the guy. <laughs> Hot. 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 <laughs> so scary. No? Circuit um, have two main area, or two major areas. One's called the main circuit, and the other called the filament circuit. The main circuit can also be called the X-ray tube circuit. The purpose of the main circuit is to supply power to the X-ray tube to produce X-ray energy. Can you repeat that? Uh, the purpose of the main circuit is to supply power to the X-ray tube to produce X-rays. That's why it's also referred as X-ray tube circuit. Supply power to the X-ray tube to produce X-ray energy. The main circuit can be subdivided into two different areas. One is called primary circuit and the other called secondary circuit. I think I'm going to just and now I forgot to change like areas one to individual. Put areas, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the primary circuit is a part of the side that have low voltage that is in are coming in. It begins with the auto transformers. Secondary circuit would be the area that there's high voltage, so it's a high voltage area. And within the secondary circuit, the, that's where you find the electrifiers uh, component and ending at the X-ray tube. And then the other part of the circuit is the filament circuit. The purpose of the filament circuit is to supply power to the filament wire of the x-ray tube so that um, in thermonic emission can occur. Can that? Uh, the purpose of the filament uh, circuit is to supply power <coughs> to the filament so that uh, thermonic emission can occur. Um, no, it's fine because um, we have other pictures that okay. I can 
That's, that's my question. Okay, let's talk about the filament circuit first. The magical parts of the filament circuits. So it's supplied control current. It's that's where we, uh, the MS selectors uh, component is located. The purpose of the MS selector is allowed when you change your MS selections. It um, moves uh, a needle device or uh, whatever it is inside uh, to the appropriate uh, current scale. So it has an electronic device called a rheostat. A rheostat is pretty much a variable resistor, so it fluctuates based on your MA selection. It adjusts the resistance to vary the amount of current flowing through the filament based on your MA selection. In the filament circuit, there are also what's called the focus spot selector. Um, in the X-ray tube, there's usually two different filament size. One's large and one's small, depending what body parts or how much uh, current needed. If there's low current, then you're going to use small filament. If it's large current, you're going to use uh, the bigger filament. So, so the purpose of the focus spot selector allow the current to flow through on a different type of filament wires based on your Current selections, and MA selection. So there's a tap that moves to different directions based on what technique you use. And of course, the filament circuit is, has a step down transformer, which is responsible for changing and regulating current based on your again, MA selection. Transformer, also known as filament transformer, which is located in the filament circuit. And it connects directly to the filament of the X-ray tube to help generate the amount of emission. In order for thermal emission to occur, current at least has to be at least 3 amps for that to occur. So it fluctuates. Just a diagram <coughs> with the filament transformer. So again, the line comes in, which makes sure that consists of 240 volts coming in and going through the R transformer. The R transformer can deliver the electricity to the high volt transformer and the filament transformer. When you make your MS selections, uh, the knobs will select the different MS stations, uh, which then deliver to the extra two at the filament. Here's the R transformer. We have a major KVP selection, minor KVP selections, and this, you can blend, it's what's the six apply in the electronic components. Mm -hmm. It's a resistor, right? So it has this variable resistor. So, so this is a rheostat right here. Um, so it's your MS selection. Uh, we have a focal spot selector, large or small, depending what MS selections you make. 
Uh, the end selector and focus bus side usually located in the prime portion of the step down transformer or the filament transformer. The R transformer allows the technologists to change the KV selection. When you change our KV technique, the R transformer can be different <coughs> tasks to help you do that. So it breaks pretty much the kilovolt. Okay, so kilo, kilovolt potential control. The primary function of it on a control console is to determine the penetration power of the beam. <clears throat> on the anatomy that you're focusing on. So the quality of it. In terms of when you talk about the X-ray imaging film, KB determines the radiographic contrast of the image. That's the differences in terms of black and white on the X-ray film, or the scale of the On the imaging system, there's usually a meter that's built in to, uh, to regulate the, to determine how much KV is going through. This meter, or KV meter, is usually put on the primary side of the high voltage transformer. Other way of saying it, because um, on the test, the national test, they have different answers in terms of determining where the location is based on perspective. The bulk meter, KV meter, can also be said it's located on the primary circuit of the actual tube circuit or main circuit. The KV meter is located between the R transformer yeah. and the step up transformer, because HVT is a step-up transformer. So there's different ways of saying where it's located. So it's in the primary circuit or the primary 
uh, primary circuit uh, on the primary side on the high voltage transformer or uh, 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 in between the R transformer and the step up transformer. In between the R transformer, the high voltage transformer, just how you see this. One location, same place. Different variation in answers. Because on the national test, I don't know what Sheila can ask. So I'm giving you all possible scenarios. Like and those are usually the main different scenarios. So okay, Miller Amper, what does it control? The purpose of an A station is to determine the number of the electrons boiled off in the filament. So it's, again, it's quantity, the amount of electrons coming out. In terms of the X-ray film, the number of X-ray reaching the film determines the degree of blackness on the film. So it determines the overall darkness of the entire uh, X-ray film. How dark it is, how light it is. Too much AMA can overexpose. So the X-ray film the completely black or really black, dark. Too little of AMA also uh, make the X-ray film <coughs> and again, there's a meter that also determines how much MA flow through at one point. That's built into the extra imaging system, and this MA meter is located on the secondary side of the high voltage transformer. As I mentioned earlier, you know, for thermal emission to occur, the temperature of the filament. Uh, um, you need to have at least three to six amps going through it to for thermal emission to come. So we have a cable meter on the primary circuit. And a meter located on the secondary side of the high voltage transformer. I could also say that the MA meter is located on the secondary circuit. The MA meter is located between the R transformer and the X ray T. No matter, I mean, actually, a uh, high voltage transformer and X ray T. I would say the MA meter is located between the step up transformer and X ray T. The purpose of the timer, sometimes it's called a timer, uh, allows the amount of electrons flow from the cathode to the ion at a specific time duration. The timer is generally located on the primary side of the high voltage transformer, same as the KB meter. In X-ray, the length of exposure time is usually a fraction of a second. And there's different timer have been built over the years uh, in the imaging system. We can start from the least efficient to the most efficient. Timing in X-ray is crucial. The timer circuit is usually an independent circuit compared to the other part of the X-ray imaging system. It's independent. It has, a, it has an independent circuit. The timer circuit is going to look at, like I mentioned, in the primary side. 
of the high board platform or the private circuit. Or in the other <coughs> part and the step of the Okay, mechanical timer. Mechanic timer so is used in a few parts of the data. It's pretty much uh, disappeared in the web analysis. It worked on a spring wound motor um, type. It's like an open timer, you wind it up, as it's the wind, you get down, the spring, and then make the exposure. Uh, the advantage of having a mechanical timer is that it's inexpensive to build or to purchase. Um, the disadvantage of having a mechanical timer is that it's not as accurate as the other type of timer. Um, you can only measure the mechanical timer down to just one fourth of a second. You can't go lower than that. Some extra uh, exposure don't need one fourth of a second. You can go less than one fourth of a second. Um, mechanical. You can only go down to one fourth of a second, point two five of a second. You can time it less than point two or point eight, point one eight. We have synchronous timing. This is more accurate than the mechanical timing. And the reason why I call it synchronous because it's based on the amount of um, hertz. That's going through the system since the electric unit hertz, um, the electric cycle is 60 hertz. Uh, it's synchronized, it's timing based on 60 revolutions per second. Um, exactly how it works. Um, not quite know exactly how it works with that. But if we work on synchronizations of the electricity coming in, which is 60 revolutions per second. And it's more accurate than mechanical time because the minimum exposure time can be go down as 160 of a second, <coughs> which is 0 0.017 second, whereas mechanical can go down to a 0.25 of a second. And you could make it as last as long as 20 seconds, which you don't really need. Um, most exposure, if you need to make the exposure longer, it's usually one or two seconds. Make sure one second is way too long anyway. And then we have electronic timer. This is the most accurate type of timer. <coughs> the most complicated in terms of building it. So it's the most expensive. But the advantage of it is most accurate. And it's often used in the X-ray imaging system today. With the timing, it, you could go down to one one thousandth of a second. Exposure will stop when the desired mass has attained based on your selection. And when you select like whatever mass it is, the computer will automatically adjust to the highest MA possible with the shortest exposure time. You don't know what the highest MA is because it's just automation. This mass timer is generally located on the second, secondary side of the high board fan phone, and it varies where it is. Uh, depending on company. Modern X-ray imaging machine um, has mass timer and it's made within what's called the falling load generator. 
the flow and flow generator purpose is to just automatically adjust to the hottest MA at the short exposure time possible, which is going to get that. It's a killer or what? Okay, um, so uh, there's a lot of combination between time exp um, uh, x ray exposure. Um, the one formula you need to know for this unit is just milliampere times second to get mass, the amount of mean free technique. So it's, it's a very basic math. This is called the hardest part of math. This formula. MA times second to get mass. So let's do an example. Let's say there's a uh, exa uh, procedure, a KUB examination. Uh, can you be meaning that in you know, an <coughs> x-ray you need to have the kidney, you're going to apply it in the film. In other words, it's just an abdomen x-ray. Requires the following techniques. 70 kV at 40 mass. If the technologist select 200 MA stations on the control console, what exposure time should be used? So, mm -hmm. and in, I'm second, mm -hmm. mass. We know that our MA selection is 200 times on the <coughs> and uh, mass is 40, right? Mm -hmm. Cross multiply. Mm -hmm. That's 40 divided by 20. Mm -hmm. One fifth of a second. Point two, right? Point two of a second. So you need to so this time selection will be point two. Simple. Point two of a second. So what's that in millisecond? Two hundred. Two hundred in decimal three times. But it's always measured in seconds, right? Everything's fraction of a second. Yeah. So, because x-ray happens in fractions. One, really, anything is one over one second. What's the fraction of a second? One fifth. Any <coughs> questions? Relatively simple, straightforward. Just be careful with the second, no second. Example. Number two, we have technique call for 400 MA with 50 milliseconds exposure moisture mass.
So the argument control console would be 20 minutes. Whatever, whatever the KV selection you have. Any questions? Control panel is set at 600 AMA with 130 of a second. 